Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation Vita, LaunchBox, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and some gaming handhelds. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, yes, I'm still on a cruise ship. Yes, I've got to keep my voice down. And yes, I'm still coming at you with emulation news. We'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation Vita emulation on Android with Vita 3K. I am not even joking with you here. I've received a whole bunch of messages on a daily basis asking me about the state of Vita 3K on Android. And MacDo, the main developer of Vita 3K, has been on vacation, so development has kind of been at a standstill for the last little bit. Well, MacDo is now back, so expect some Vita 3K emulation updates in the very near future. Next up, we're talking about a very weird and also extremely interesting emulation Easter egg in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you are curious about this Easter egg and want to see it in action, I'll leave a link to this YouTube video in the description below, and I highly recommend checking it out. There are four different DOS versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator that you can play within the 40th anniversary edition of Microsoft Flight Simulator. To be honest with you, it's extremely cool to see an emulator within a retail game and the fact that they're using it and the developer confirms it is even more amazing. The developer of this emulator downloaded the game, they tested it out, and they recognized their own quirks within the emulator. So this gets a big thumbs up from me. And fun fact here, if you wanted to check out this emulator on your own, you absolutely can. It's free, it's open source, and you can play it within your browser. I'll leave a link in the description below. Next up here, we're talking about Jealous, which stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or it stands for just enough Linux operating system, depending on how you want to interpret that. Jealous just got a brand new update. I will leave a link to the entire change log in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. We've got some bug fixes and also some pretty major improvements. They've updated the emulators and the cores. They've also upgraded the kernel version to 6.0.7 and they've added in controller support for the Steam Deck. And last up here, we're talking about LaunchBox, and LaunchBox version 13 was just released with a bunch of bug fixes and also some brand new features. The biggest piece of the update with LaunchBox 13 version 13 is the addition of 3D box art. I'll leave a link to this YouTube video in the description below, and I highly recommend checking it out if you're interested in LaunchBox. In addition to that, I'll drop a link to the entire change log in the description below, and I also recommend checking it out. LaunchBox has both free and paid versions, and it's an awesome front end for your emulators. In fact, why not have another LaunchBox lifetime license giveaway? And this will be for either Windows or Android, completely the winner's choice. To enter is simple and straightforward. Send an email to launchboxgiveaway at mrsujano.com with the correct answer to this question. What movie was filmed in the location of the thumbnail on the video that I released on November 13th? If you can send the correct answer along with your name and what version of the lifetime license you want, either Windows or Android, to LaunchBox Giveaway at MrSujano.com, you may or may not win the lifetime license. I'll be selecting a winner in the very near future, probably after I'm done vacation. But send an email there and hopefully you win. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.